Hi YouTube, this is Imperial Fest, this is an update on my lizard men. So uh, I am now a true lizard men player. I have a slam age priest. So um, let's just take a quick look at the model. So if I just take off the slam off, this is a fine cast kit. So let's go into the throne or palanquin, I think they call it. So this is uh, got lots of old brambles and leaves and sort of represents the nature around him. Got some dragon heads on there. I really do like the fine cast kit. Um, it's quite good. Now there's only some certain areas which I'll show you. Here's the skink. Painted like all my other skinks. I'm going to have them all in Sotec colours which is just a uh, fair, I'm not sure what you call it, quiff or on their head it's going to be uh, red. Got uh, it's ivory horns and poles, got some lizards, uh, this one, and uh, all around the model, got a little skull in there, loads of detail in this, and it's quite an old, old model, there's another lizard up there, loads of little lizards, I'll put a banner on, now the problem with, with this model was, uh, in there, you can see, this bit, is that, this bit is separate from this one, and you have a choice of uh, what little bit you put in there, this little square bit here. And uh, that bit just in there was uh, gone. So I had to clean stuff around it and it doesn't look too bad. Just so it's like a bit of ancient damage. And if we bring it around to the front again, look at that, uh, have a look at the banner. There we go. Then it's got a nice hole there to go in and I'm quite satisfied with the hole. Um, that goes into the base. Now this base, I didn't really want to show you this bit, but I knew I had to have it. I didn't want anything else. Um, so I've covered it with uh, lots of different sort of wildlife. So you've got some snakes down here. That's from the Saurus Warriors kit. Um, and I think everything else is from the Dryads kit. I just had some lying around because I traded some in there. We've got a bit of bark in there which I painted to look like stone. Um, and all of these bits, and look, if you look at that, this one, I'm sorry, that one, it looks like a bit of a claw, and that is because it is, but it looks very nice. Like for he's conjured a spell, and all these uh, the natural elements of the forest and rainforest have come up and protected him, but it also covers all this, and he's got that nice little um, lizards protecting him. So then we go on to the Slam Age Priest himself, very basic, fat toad, which I love. Is really, really nice, and he's really light with resin. I haven't painted him at the bottom, I haven't decided if I'm going to glue him on or not, but I think I'm not going to. See, he doesn't fall off. So, um, yeah, because he's a toad, he's got all the sort of different colours in him I've decided to do. He's got a big speckly sort of thing, because these things that are immobile, they rarely, rarely move. I decided that he, he should be a bit dirty, possibly a bit. Of Dirty rain spattered on him. There he is, I really do like this model. So, there, here he is. So this is just a quick video update on my Dismen army. And now I've got a slan in there. And he's all painted up and he's all ready. And I played him in a few of the battles. And I would suggest, um, especially if you're, because more and more people have monsters now, their Warhammer armies, I would suggest Law of Death with this guy. He's awesome. So, there we go. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe if, you, if you're not a. Uh, um, a Warhammer player, 40k player, just comment if you've got any questions or anything and I'll get back to you. Okay, thanks. See you later.